Yeah, when most people think about going to space, they think about that movie style blast off moment. But companies that are planning to use high altitude balloons to launch people into the stratosphere say that their rides are so gentle, people can eat, drink and walk around during the flight. Now, stratospheric balloons aren't new. They're used for weather research, aerial photography, but putting people on board of them is. And that's exactly what these companies say they're planning to do uh, by 2024. Now, some of these are being marketed as space flights or space balloon flights, but they don't actually reach space. They go about 30 to 40 kilometers above Earth, and that's not even half the distance to the Kármán line, which lies at 100 kilometers, and that is the uh, internationally recognized line for where space begins. Still, these companies say it's three times higher than most commercial airlines fly, and it's high enough to see the Earth's curvature as well as the thin blue line of the Earth's atmosphere. Now, the companies that we looked into um, operate in similar ways. There is a massive balloon that's tethered to a rather small capsule. It holds around 10 people, and flights last anywhere from 5 to 12 hours. But there are some differences as well. Some are powering their balloons with hydrogen, others helium. At least one company plans to land their capsule into the ocean, others coming back to land. And finally, the prices uh, are varying considerably, at least at this point, with the entry-level price coming from an Arizona-based company called Worldview. Worldview, and they're marketing their seats on their capsules for $50,000 each. Back to you. Yeah, price point is always a consideration, isn't it? Especially when you consider uh, what SpaceX, etc., is offering about commercial space flights. But what about safety, uh, Monica? How much do we know about how safe uh, riding in this space age balloon is? Yeah, so CNBC Travel, we looked into this for a couple of months, actually. So stratospheric balloons as a whole are considered to be uh, widely safe. Uh, however, less is known about the balloons that are the size that are required to take a capsule filled with people in them. To give you an idea about how big these balloons are, when the Florida-based company Space Perspective says that when their balloon is inflated, uh, they say an entire football stadium can fit inside of it. Now, another issue is the lifting gas that companies are using. Hydrogen and helium are both common in the industry. However, some companies are say when people are involved, they are sticking solely with helium. Yes, it's a finite resource and it is costlier. However, it's non-flammable and thus safer, they say. Others say uh, they're moving with the times and they're entering, they're in, entering the hydrogen economy. Uh, now, some people uh, may get jittery and remember thinking about hydrogen with an aircraft uh, and it may conjure images of the 1937 Hindenburg airship disaster. Uh, but the insiders that I spoke with, both in academics and the ballooning industry, said that the gas was really unfairly blamed for that incident. Other issues were at play. Moreover, they say technological advancements of the last 85 years have made hydrogen uh, so much safer that it's now being touted as, quote, the fuel of the future. Now, these companies do have a few more uh, years to test their balloons, which they say they'll do both with crews on board and without. Now, in the meantime, the insiders that I spoke to uh, for our coverage, some of them say, yeah, they would feel safer with a helium powered balloon. But others said that the choice of gas uh, simply wouldn't matter to them in the slightest. 